We used to send to other health facilities very far from here. We didn't have anything, we didn't test them. And most of them, they didn't have time to go. They used to die. In the past, we used to have very few water points. So we used even to just draw water from even streams, which could give us a lot of complicated diseases. I'm David Golding. I was a senior member of staff in a university, now retired. I've supported Tier Fund most of my adult life and I've been a representative and spokesperson and campaigner for Tier Fund for most of that time also. The story of Elenata was very prominent in Tier Times in uh, spring of 1997. And to me, she summed up the injustice and the tragedy of Third World Death. I was just appalled at not just the poverty of her circumstances, but the whole idea that we were making that worse. Local churches can uh, do their bit to help uh, poor people around them, but there's so much that they can do. You know, there's some problems that are made far away from them, where poor people don't have a chance to influence. And that's why campaigning is so important. The debt is unjust because it is never right to enforce debt repayments at the expense of the basic necessities of life. And remember, these debts were inherited from a previous generation. It was obvious from Tear Fund's material that I could work with Tear Fund and other agencies to raise my voice against this. Jesus, early in his, in his mission, uh, opened up the book of Isaiah and spelled out his terms of reference, why he was here, which is to help those who are disadvantaged, the poor, those who face injustice. And as followers of Christ, that is our terms of reference as well. Coming out with a voice, insisting that the government listen to them, I think uh, th that kind of activity can change the minds, not only of leaders, but of the governments they lead. Campaigning is very important because we have these great injustices that are grinding down entire generations across whole continents. The idea that we can rectify those things without getting these great structural changes is delusion in my view. I've slogged away sometimes for three years, and not just me, I mean with all my colleagues, and seen nothing for it whatsoever. But then something is broken, and then you get a seismic shift, and the benefits are enormous. When we received the debt relief, it, um, it, marked, it marked the beginning of increases in in the state's funds that were available for development and because instead of paying for the debt um, that money could be directed towards uh, particularly social services. When the debt dropped we were unable to finance the water project. It's enormous. Because of this debt exemption here in Iluango we are blessed. There is a very big difference because now we are able to be getting clean water from Bohos. With the debt relief, we were able to embark on a primary education development program because we could afford it now. We understand that on average, two classrooms have been built in every village. In terms of health, sometimes you could become halfway through the month and all the medicines would be gone. But now we were able to stock our medical supplies. Comparing the facilities that they've described and shown 
to us that they had just a few years ago. And then actually going round the, the new facilities of the clinic. It's remarkable how much they've done. The role of the campaigners, particularly in the UK, was immensely contributory to the decision to provide dead relief. Dead campaign has really helped a lot of people. But this is really the beginning, it's not the end. Meeting Eleonata today in her village has been immensely gratifying and seeing the impact firsthand that debt campaigning has had here. Of course, inevitably, having heard her story, I'm mainly preoccupied by the challenges that still face her. Our role as Christians is uh, to be courageous, to be bold, when people feel it's someone else's job to do it. It perpetuates injustices. The Christian church took the leading role in the debt campaign. Those debts would still be hanging on the world's poor if it hadn't been for the almost unanimous voice of the Christian church. I want to see that carry on, I want to see it extended. In Africa we think of a fireplace. One log cannot light up a fire. We need several logs to make a big fire. So your voice and another voice, that's what will raise the profile of the campaign supporters who are involved in our campaigns are part of this huge network that we can create through our reach with local churches. By working together we can make a big difference through campaigning.